Introducing first, Nicholas Huberscher. next fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds your referee Victor O'Donnell introducing first in the red corner he stands six foot tall weighing 170 pounds fighting out of Cincinnati Ohio representing club MMA and tonight making his debut Nicholas Huberscher And in the blue corner, he stands five foot nine, weighing 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dayton, Ohio, with an undefeated record of one win, no losses, Matt Boring!
offense. One minute, six seconds into the first round. Referee Victor O'Donnell stops this contest when he sees the tap out due to strikes. The winner on his debut, Nicholas Hublerscher!
Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let everybody know before I make the decision that both of these gentlemen had opponents. They, they pulled or could not fight them, and they, they stepped up to fight each other to perform for you guys tonight. So make some noise for both of these fighters in the pit. That being said, referee Chris Kidman stops this contest at 1 minute 58 seconds in the first round, declaring your winner, Nick Hoover Shadow! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Nick Hoover. You like Nick Hoover or, or Nick Sheriff? Or Nick Hoover Sheriff, gotta say both of them. Oh, okay, Hoover Sheriff. Uh, very impressive fight against a tough guy. Like, as, as I told everybody, this is not who you anticipated fighting, nor were you who he anticipated fighting. So, what were your thoughts coming into this fight? Uh, had a great training cramp, felt great, everything like that. Uh, had to thank my opponent for, for stepping in and, and taking the fight. Well, we had both of our opponents backed out, but. Uh, Thank, uh, thank the fans from Club MMA. Yeah. We, got a, we got a great family there. We all work hard together and push each other. So it's great to have uh, the good support. So This is kind of a comeback fight for you. So it's got to feel pretty good to be victorious. Yeah, yeah. I've been training hard. Uh, last fight was, I think, in 09. But uh, just been training hard. Had some opportunities in my life and had to take them. And uh, now it's time to come back on the MMA trail. We're very impressive, and I hope to see you back here at Absolute Action in the May very soon. You guys make some noise for Nick Hoogla Shadow!
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for five three-minute rounds and is for the Absolute Action MMA vacant lightweight championship. One of these two men will be crowned the new Absolute Action MMA lightweight champion. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man stands five foot ten inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. With an undefeated record of 2-0, fighting out of Lima, Ohio, and representing Lima Combat Sports, he is Anson Hano! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This man stands six foot tall and weighing at 155 pounds. With an undefeated record of four wins and no losses, fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and representing 12 MMA, he is Nicholas Huda A fantastic ovation here for Hubler Scherf as he takes on Hunnell. A uh, battle of two unbeatens for the vacant 155 pound championship here in AAMMA. And Gary Copeland gets things started. And they trade early on. Nice knee from Scherf. Wow. And they are Hunter just trading. Some bombs. No hesitation from either one of these guys inside of the clinch, outside of the clinch. Going at Sean, it. Both of these guys are top of the food chain. Undefeated out of top gyms. I love how Scherf used that body shot to set up the right hook. That was fantastic. Oh, Ooh, he's dropped. Big shot. Scherf get dropped. Hoover scrambles. And the fight is over. Wow. Hunnell dropped him with a huge overhand punch. Worked a few punches from... Wow, that was, I'm speechless. That was fantastic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Copeland has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds into round number one, declaring your winner by way of knockout, Anson Hummel.
will be making his way out to the cage here shortly alongside Alex Hacker. Alex Hacker, but first we have Nicholas Huber Scherf at a club MMA. Happy, his walkout song. Yes. He's so happy to be here. It's a positive song. And introducing your Hard Rock MMA 170 pound champ, Alex Hacker. Big crowd here for Alex Hacker tonight. Over half of the room standing, ready for him to walk out. Alex Hacker looks ready to go to defend his title. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Hard Rock MMA 170 pound title fight. And introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the red corner, weighing at 168 pounds, representing club MMA from Cincinnati, Ohio, Nicholas Hubler, From the and crowd. introducing your champion, fighting out of the B2 digital blue corner, weighing at 171 pounds, representing Area 502, the New York, Kentucky, Alex Hacker. The crowd very excited for Alex Hacker. Alex has his game face on. This is some serious local fan support for Alex Hacker. Absolutely. As you could hear, Nicholas Huber, Hubler Scherf did not get any love from the local no crowd. Love. No love. Shows the support for the hometown kid, Alex Hacker. Once again, out of area, 502 MMA over off popular level. Phil Perkins, Blake O'Neill over in his corner. Both these guys looking good, coming out. Nice kicks from Alec Hacker to start it off. Alex Hacker landing some nice kicks there. Alex Hacker looking for the takedown. Nice knee. He punches. Hacker's doing a really good job of not getting turned around uh, when working against the cage. Alex is dictating the pace of this fight. Hooker Sharp is doing a you know good to try and turn, but Alex Hacker's feeling that and, and coming back and keeping him on the cage really well when, when he pushes the action there. Nice turn there. to kick combinations for Alex here. Crowd very excited to see him do well. Jump knee.
Alex Hacker defending a single leg with a sit out. You nice know, reversal. Alex is very comfortable with his wrestling game. That was a nice little switch there to take the back. Trying to pull him off the cage so he can continue to try to take the back. Great first round. The co-main event, the lo local crowd is really coming alive for Alex Hacker. And he did really well in that first round as well, so I, I think they're kind of pumped up to see him come out and, and do really good against, you know, a very good opponent. Folks, what do you think of our ring girls tonight? Got to say Alex won that round. I, I think so. I promise, you're not going to be in trouble. Kara and Morgan. Kara carrying the belt, Morgan carrying the ring card. You've fought in other states, Gina. Have you ever been in an atmosphere <laughs> where everyone boos as you walk out and they are going nuts for your opponent? Yes, several okay. times. <laughs> what does that do to your morale? Nothing, honestly. Um, you know, I've been in several, for a long time in my amateur career, I couldn't, I couldn't really get a fight in the state of Kentucky. And I fought, you know, Missouri, Colorado a couple times. And uh, on all of those occasions, I walked out to booze or silence. Okay. And uh, after a few wins, you know, Changes. silence okay. as well, you know, and I'm pumped up and excited about my win. And, you know, nobody's cheering for you or anything like that. Um, it doesn't make the, the win feel any less but it certainly makes the celebration feel a little awkward in the cage. <laughs> Folks, here we go with round number two of your 170 uh, pound title fight with Nicholas Hoogler Scherf and Alex Hacker. Alex Hacker with the nice leg kick. Real nice. Hoogersurf coming back with his own. Alex ready to clinch. See if he keeps the pushing, hips pushing back. Alex Hager has really good combinations when he when he throws his strikes, uh, not just one but um, two or three at a time. Lost his mouthpiece. I didn't see where that happened. I didn't either. Nice head kick by Al Attacker. Job of moving and avoiding some of those strikes of Alex Hacker. See if Alex is able to hook that leg and take it down. I'm sure he's trying to break away from that crunch. Alex is truly bringing the energy to this fight. He is. I like how he goes to the head but then kicks low and is able to land those kicks on the way out. He has a really great Hats off to Hoogler Surf, really, for sticking in there with us. This is a barrage of energy. It's a great fight. 
Crowd's getting pumped up. Channing Hacker. If you can't hear it through the microphones, a solid chant of Hacker has broken out. Got about 20 seconds left. A shot after the bell there, but uh, Alex ending the round strong. Possibly three more rounds to go. These guys are keeping up a good energy so far. Alex fights angry, I think, would be an accurate statement in my opinion. I don't think I want to get in a fight with that guy. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look happy with his opponent. Thus far, Alex has to be pretty happy with his performance. I would think so. He seems to be doing really well. Uh, it's a good fight for him. He's, um, I think he's maintaining his champion status. Phil Perkins in there giving him some coaching. Other than continue the activity and the action, what can Phil be telling Alex? Try to get this to the ground. Possibly if he, if he would like to see him work and, and, and test out the water on the ground to see how he's going to, you know, to see how that goes there. But I think that, uh, you know, we've seen a couple of attempts of Alex Hacker to get it on the ground. And he's, you know, uh, Hooper Sharp has been able to push off and, and escape the clinching and work his way off of the cage. So um, he may tell him to press that a little more just to see how it goes. Um, but, you know, he may be satisfied with how it's going as well. Phil Perkins, obviously, a jiu-jitsu guy. Alex, a good high school wrestler. Surprising to me, we haven't seen this go to the ground much more. He's a great striker as well, though. You know, Alex Hacker True. actually, when I talked earlier about the Muay Thai kickboxing and, uh, you know, training a little bit, he's come down uh, when we talked about um, Arjun Chai, Sirisu coming down for seminars. You know, he always attends that, is very into the striking, even if it's traditional Muay Thai, and it shows. Uh, his striking is very good. And, so he's uh, very comfortable with this being a stand up fight. It, appears so and then he looks good you know he doesn't look sloppy he looks very tight in his strikes and uh, it has some really solid combinations and strikes to kicks knees working his knees as well nice knee to the body there Got to be some nice action on the GoPro there with the ref having to scramble out of the way for this action-packed fight. Hubler Scherf trying to get the guillotine, I believe. I don't know if he has the correct position for that. Doesn't look like he has the armor on the neck. He might be looking for a short choke here. Short choke, T-Rex choke with the arms, but I don't think he's going to get it. He does have the arm of Alex Hacker trapped here. See what Alex is able to do to get up. You see, Hoover Sherp is trying to work ahead in the arm triangle, but he's working on a side where Alex is very close to the cage, so I think it's going to be really hard for him to tighten that up over there with as close as Alex is to the cage. Alex is having to defend it. Now he might tap. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Hubler Scherf with the, the victory in hostile territory, showing good sportsmanship immediately afterward. He is. Looks like a, a few more of his supporters are being a little more vocal now. I think this was definitely a great fight, a great challenge for Alex. Co-main event, we have one more fight left. And then after that, Hard Rock MMA will go to Turfway May 13th. 
But first, we crown a new champion. Wow. Oh, let's give it up for both of your warriors right here. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 57 seconds of round number three. Your winner, tap out to the arm triangle, Nanu! Hard Rock MMA champ, Nicholas Hubler Scherf! Now it's showing good sportsmanship, Alex shaking Hacker, Hubler Alex. Scherf's hand. Absolutely. And that was by far also fight of the night. Holy shit. I agree with that. Great fight. And we also had to have a reason to have all three girls in the ring at the same time. Scherf against Alex Hacker. Hacker brought the fight to him. He had a lot of energy, and he had the Muay Thai striking and everything. Hubler Scherp and his jiu-jitsu is what won that fight. And that was also his first fight back after uh, an extended layoff as well. So he took about, you know, almost two years off from the cage and came back and took on a, a guy who was maybe one of the hottest 170-pound fighters in Kentucky and Alex Hacker. Alex, I know, had just come back off of fighting uh, in, in Las Vegas for King of the Cage. and. and Hubler Sheriff looks great in that fight. He has a kickboxing fight coming up, Alex does. Actually, is it tonight? At Glory, I think he does. Is it, it is Glory. Is it tonight? I don't know. It's in Chicago, I know okay. that. Travis Conner has a big following here, it looks like. Definitely still seems to be a uh, Hubler Scherf pro crowd though here. Of course, fighting just over the river from Cincinnati, <laughs> the western part of Cincinnati. <coughs> pro debut here for Nicholas Hubler Scherf. Third pro fight for Travis Connor, who is in the gray. Hubler Scherf in the black. John House with the GoPro is a referee for this one. You see immediately Travis Conner, he doesn't throw a ton of punches, but he throws heavy punches. Yeah. Not a lot of jabs coming from Travis Conner. Big overhand right there from Conner. Used it to close the distance and work in. This is a really interesting pro debut too for Hubler Scherf against a guy who has, you know, a, a pretty good uh, prospect in his own right in Travis Conner, a guy who seven and one as an amateur and Really tough fight here for, for both guys. Yeah. <coughs> Looks like uh, Hubler Scherf slipped there on that leg kick. Travis, Travis leading in with that left hook to the body at a closed distance. See those elbows there from yeah. Hubler Scherf there. Of course, can't do that in the amateur ranks. Nice slam there from Travis Connor, and we've definitely seen some some huge slams. I think that was uh, maybe on the lower end of the impact level from some of his slams that we've seen. Nevertheless, he gets the job done. You see, Hubler Scherf has control of that that overhook on the left arm of Travis Connor, who just muscles it out. You've, yeah. I've seen this before from him too. You see him. I've seen him in side control, pounding a guy out, and just stands up out of it. Travis Connor. Well, he's got a McGee team now he's working for. Well, you know, the thing is, is he knows what he likes to do. And as a pro at this point in the, in the game, you know, when you turn pro, you should be able to dictate what's happening. And Connor is definitely doing that. If he doesn't want to do something, he's going to get back up, make him stand. He's like, well, I just want to do this. When he's doing that, he stands up, but then immediately goes for another takedown. Is that just trying to score points, or is that just trying to say, it can hey, you know be. what? Or it's just, you know, again, it's Maybe I just want to try to get inside control here this time. And yeah, pick maybe. You up I mean, even though you, head. just because you get somebody down and maybe you just don't get to the position that you wanted to get into. So, jab there. You know, his counter striking, though, off of Hubler Sheriff's jab. Like every time he even throws a punch, Connor's making him eat one for it. And that was a heavy leg kick there from Hubler Sheriff. Oh, and oh. Connor got clipped. Yeah, caught him on the way in. 
Body shot there from Hubler Scherf. One of the more under underutilized aspects of MMA is body shots. But Hubler Scherf does it just about as well as anybody at this level. Nice left hook there, following up with a combination. Nice knee there from Nicholas Hubler Scherf. You see Connor blocking those, but Hubler Scherf starting to tee off here. Now stalking Connor. Yeah. Couple more body shots and a big right hand there from Hubler yeah. Scherf. And that seemed to, to daze Connor. Another body shot. And you see the mouth wide open of Travis Connor. Yeah, Connor needs the. Another knee there. I was gonna say, look for him to probably shoot in and try to tie in. And for, if you're Hubler Scherf, you need to use this underhook here that you have on the left side. Try to turn Travis Connor off of you. You don't want a tired guy to just be able to lay on you. Another nice knee there yep. from Hubler Scherf off the cage. Hubler Scherf is a guy who has a lot of tools. Now Travis Connor trying to drop down, trying to get that double leg. Yep. And again, just releases there. Watch for the leg kick. The head kick there from Hubler Scherf. And Connor still throwing heavy leather. Big right hand there, <laughs> that came yeah. from the hip. Yeah, and that one barely grazed past. He probably heard the whiff of the glove <laughs> flying past his ears. Hubler Scherf now starting to tee off. Throwing some elbows. The crowd coming to life here. Knee to the body. <clears throat> so another. A lot of damage. Very action packed up. fight. Yeah, and Hubler Scherf almost with a methodical pace, almost trying to pick oh. Connor apart here. Another nice He's knee there. He's mixing it up good with knees and elbows and combinations. Something Elbow. we've seen pretty much his whole career, even as an amateur, now being able to use those elbows as well. He's done a great job utilizing those elbows thus far. Connor now looking to try to get this takedown. 10 seconds left here in round number one. See if Connor can either finish the takedown or if Hobo Sheriff can do any more damage. Wow. And that was a great round there. The members of the crowd standing on their feet. Man, Hubler Scherf is one crafty fighter. He definitely, yeah, seems the, the that's the, I think the perfect explanation of, of how he fights as a fighter. He doesn't necessarily try to force anything. He really just takes what's there and says, you know what, I have, I have plenty of tools and I'm just gonna use whatever, take whatever you give me. Mm -hmm. He seems to have a very strong feel or a good feel of the pulse of the fight or the pace. Exactly, yeah, that, that's what the, another great point there is I was gonna you know, say that he seems to be able to, to kind of let the fight come to him and be able to utilize whatever tools he has. You see. I just remember that the Alex Hacker fight, man. He was, looked to me like he was losing. But he then, was in there and he stuck with it. Came back and was able to get the finish in that fight, I believe, in the fourth round by yes. TKO. Yes. And that, that's a, a good fight to take as your last amateur fight. And a guy like Alex Hacker is a pretty polished fighter in his own right. And Travis Connors corner telling him to punt that jab and immediately blast that right hand. And Connor is throwing heavy. If he is able to yeah. land one flush. Yeah. Hubler Scherf might go down here. <clears throat> what a fight. Connor again just releasing. Nice jab there from another body shot there from Hubler Scherf. And that's just something that a lot of a lot again, a lot of MMA fighters don't utilize is the body shot. Yeah. And those body shots are really what kind of take the toll later in the fight. Hibler Sheriff now with the body lock here gets the takedown. Was in half guard, now in full mount. Has this arm triangle locked in. Looks like he might be able to step over and try to finish this. And Connor needs to try to use, they call it answer the telephone yeah. with that left hand. Doesn't look like it's fully locked in just the, yet. Oh, he tapped. Oh, I actually think I that, said it. that's very similar to what he got Alex Hacker with, if I remember correctly. Wow. Yeah, the, uh, 
definitely did a uh, great job of, again, kind of just taking what was given to him and utilizing that and finishing the fight. Very impressive victory in his professional debut. Against a very, very tough, durable fighter in Travis Conner, a guy who had, you know, already two, pri two pro fights under his belt and master perf masterful performance there from Nicholas Hubler Scherf. What do they say if you're going to wear a robe and a top hat? You better back it up. Who says that? <laughs> you know, that's just what, every, <laughs> what everyone says. That's what they but, would say. But, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. If you're and gonna and come tonight out he, he certainly did. I say continue with the robe and the top hat. He's earned it. He's earned it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 12 seconds of round number two. Your winner, tap out to to our triangle, Nicholas Hubler-Scherf. Nicholas Hubler-Scherf, now 1-0 and oh in his pro career. Gets a round of applause there from all of his fans in the crowd. All right, folks, hey, you are now 1-0 oh pro, Nicholas Hubler-Scherf. Of course, if you're going to come out.